Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Shemak. I'm going to first start by giving all the glory and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach him with wisdom overseas tabernacle of David. And Shalom to all the sincere Akim that's pushing teaching his truth across four corners of the earth and giving all the diligence to do so. All right, so, you know, I just want to touch on the plagues, you know, these, these destruction, these evils that the Lord is sending upon the earth today. You know, the earthquakes, and, and you see this vid video here is it's subtitled, um, East Africa has worst locust swarms in 25 years, you know. These things are taking place on the earth to, you know, to judge to judge these nations, man, okay. And our people want to get judged as well. And um, when I say our people, I'm referring to the people of the scriptures, which are the black, Spanish, Native Americans who are, who, who are truly known as Hebrew Israelites, okay. Okay, your, your, true, your true identity are he, is, um... <laughs> Should be classified as Hebrew Israelite. All right. So I just want to touch on um these things at hand. All right. Let me also get um so like it. Let me get uh if I can find it. Let me get all right. Here we go. Here we go. The earthquake as well. You know, I just showed you one plague there being locusts. And we of course I'm gonna refer this to the scriptures because you know everything that's trending on through the media, everybody's questioning, you know, with all these things happening, you know. Everyone's saying, what the hell is going on, man? What's this this has to be the end. This has to be the end. But you know, we're here to show you and prove to you that yeah, we are we are in the last days, man. Because what? Because of what the signs and wonders that the Lord is sending upon the earth. Simple as that, man. It's the, it's not rocket science. It's pay attention, be alert, be watchful, you know. As much as possible, man. Because these things are taking place and these are signs that the Lord is coming back for his people. And when I say his people, Hey, the nation of Israel, Israelites, okay? And really the elect, okay, sincere believers, man, of of that nation, of those of that um <laughs> ethnicities, all right. So this is um I just gonna read the subtitle just to you know quickly get to the point. This is uh earthquake in Jamaica. It says huge seven point seven magnitude tremor hits off island's coast, all right. It says, the subtitle says, buildings 580 miles away in Miami evacuated after shaking. See, the earth, the earth, you know, the Lord is shaking up the earth right now, man. All right. And just to give a quick reference of, you know, just to bring, you know, to light the magnitude, you know, uh, effect or, you know, the scale, I would say. So you see here, it mentioned the, the, um, the article mentioned that. The Jamaican earthquake was a 7.7, .7, correct? So you see that 7.7 .7 is listed. It says major earthquake, serious damage. You know, and as you see that the video I played before earlier, you know, of course a couple minutes ago, kids, kids are crying, man. This this thing is this thing is taken lightly. See these these judgments and these these plays are taken lightly until it's at your front doorstep, man. Until it happens, you know, to to you. You know, all those, you remember, you know, we can quick, we can quickly remember all those quick jokes about World War Three. But now you see a lot of R.I.P. posts. Oh, now, now it's serious, huh? Now it's serious damage, huh? Now it's now, now things are not funny because now, now the judgment is at your front doorstep. It's happening to your loved ones. It's happening to, you know, your, your significant other, you know, what now? Hey, man, we're in the last days, man. It's time to, it's time to get right or get left, man, you know? All right, and when I say get right, hey, seek the Lord, seek Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, the, the true, the true power of the scriptures, man, the true power of the Bible, okay, the only true power on earth, okay. So, um, so yeah, that was a scale with seven point seven being a major earthquake. You know, Lord is the the Lord is turning thing, turning these things up, okay, and of course get you know the old faithful real quick, you know, just quickly grip some scriptures. You know, bring bring forth the light that we are in the last days, man. All right. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, the prophets are not troubled. We, we, we're letting you know the news. We're, letting you, we're giving you updates to what's going on. You know, we're, 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 we're filtering it through the scriptures. You know, to let you know that, it, that the, the scriptures are true. That the Bible is true. Front to back. The whole volume of the book. Okay, verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Earthquakes in Puerto Rico, Venezuela. This earthquake was just hit in Jamaica, man, in different places. Verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning. Okay, 
people, the idols, Kobe Bryant dying, these idols being put to death. This is just the beginning of sorrows, man. The the Lord is taking the the joy of a the joy of this earth, you know. He's taking it. He's taking it away, okay? Because he's putting he's he's replacing that joy with judgment, you know. And mostly, and mostly, what's involved with judgment is death and destruction, okay? We understand punishments as well, you know. Way he he have you suffer through whatever judgment he put you through, but hey, so it's it's, it's going to be a lot of death and destruction. These these earthquakes not, these earthquakes not being taken shouldn't be taken lightly. Those locusts shouldn't be taken lightly, you know. And we can get. Let me see if I want to grab this Deuteronomy chapter seven real quick. Um. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah, let me grab this. All right. So this is Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse fifteen. It says, "And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee." See the Lord. That's the Lord putting that judgment. Okay, but in the kingdom. He's not gonna. We're not gonna have no diseases floating around, man. Okay, that's what this chapter is going into. You know that that promise of victory, and we're coming we're coming into that victory through these prophecies. You know that's why it's so. That's why these times are so exciting to us. You know, and it's it's really faith boosting to us, man. When we see these things, because these are, these things are already spoken by in the scriptures. All right, verse sixteen. And thou shalt consume all the people which the Lord thy power shall deliver thee. Thine eyes shall have no pity upon them. Neither shalt thou serve their gods, for that would be a snare unto thee, uh, unto thee. See, we don't feel bad for you, you Chinese, you Moabites, okay, out there suffering from the virus. We we don't feel pity, man. Okay? We don't we don't feel pity for that, man. We don't feel pity for the earthquake in Jamaica. Alright? It, we don't we, we understand that hey, you know, to our fleshly eyes, man, it sucks, man. We need we understand that we need the kingdom as Israelites, as black men, as Native Americans. But this thing, this is something that it must be done. It must happen. You know, that second death that spoke about Revelation chapter 21, it must happen, man. Because people are just re too rebellious, especially these other nations outside the nation of Israel. These other nations got to get got to get what's coming to them, man. You got to get it, man. All right, so just to touch on those plagues, too, uh, just to bring the light with Exodus chapter 8. All right, I'm going to get the locust plague. It should be... Yeah, the swarm of flies. So, you know, just just, just right with that video I just shown, man. This is it. You know, and this is, of course, referring to the time that, you know, the Israelites was in Egypt. They was in captivity. And we're in it when we're back in Egypt. Okay? We're back we're back in captivity, man. We're back in that bondage. I spoke about with Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. All right. So, you know, let me, let me go ahead and get that. It's Exodus chapter 8, uh, verse 24. Let me, let me go straight to the point. And it says, and the Lord did so, and there came a grievous swarm of flies into the house of Pharaoh, and into his ser like and into his servants' houses, and into all the land of Egypt. The land was corrupted by reason of the swarm of flies. Okay, <laughs> you know the Lord. What did the Lord do in this time? He delivered. He delivered the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. What is He going to do this time? He's going to deliver the Israelites out of their land of captivities, all throughout the four corners of the earth. You know what? Let me grab that. Okay, that is heavy. All right, so this is Jeremiah. It's like, let me go back. It's Jeremiah chapter 23. Man, this is this is probably going to start being my favorite scriptures, man. This is uh Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 7. The Lord, therefore, behold, the, the day is coming, said the Lord, that they shall no more say, The Lord liveth, which brought the children out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, which brought, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Yeah, are we not in the Western Hemisphere? Are we not in uh, Are we not in North America? You know, it's it's not America, the melting pot of Israelites. Is is camps, man? I'm not even gonna get it started on that topic, man. It's so many Israelites in America it don't make no sense, man. All right, and it says from all countries whether I have driven them, and, it, and don't get it confused. It's not a religion. When I say it's a lot of Israelites, I mean as ones that have awakening to their true heritage, their true identity. The truth of the scriptures, all right? All right, so, you know, back to reading verse 8. But the Lord liveth which brought it and which led the seed of, of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all countries whither I have driven them, and that shall dwell in their own land. So that's back to what I was saying. This is what I was bringing out that plague, how the Lord did, delivered the Israelites out of the land of Egypt, sending those plagues unto Pharaoh. He sent these plagues on the earth for us to be delivered out of all the countries that whether we have driven, been driven to, man. 
by these other nations through our captivities, man. All right. So back to Exodus chapter eight. All right. So now that I got the point on that, let me get, let me go to next. Because these chapters, Exodus chapter 7, 8, 9, 10, these speaks about the plagues of Egypt that the Lord sent upon Egypt, you know, for, for to, to really judge Pharaoh because he, he wouldn't let the Israelites go, man. Moses kept telling, hey, let my people go, man. All right. So this is, um, let me get. Let me get Exodus chapter 10. Yeah, I'll get 10, Exodus chapter 10, verse 12. I could have got 9 as well with the cattle dying and, and whatnot. Yeah, let me get Exodus chapter 9 because I did mention that. So this is Exodus chapter 9, verse 6. And the Lord did not, Salaki, and the Lord did that thing on, on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died, but of the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. See, the Lord is, he's going to be, he's going to do special things in these, in these, in these times, man, as he did before in history. This is this is bi biblical history right here, man. These things will be taken seriously. These things are very heavy. Verse 7, And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. See, these nations are hard-headed. That's why they got to get their judgment, man. As I'm relating it to today. These nations hate the Israelites. These, pe these, these people hate us, man. Okay, with, with their guts, man. All right. I don't care if it's one or two or five or ten, you know, that one of their little daughters get with you or whatnot, man. We talking about the nation as a whole. They don't like you niggas, man. They hate you niggas. All right. So let me get um, Exodus chapter 10, verse 12, with the, you know, with the locust plague. All right. So this is Exodus chapter 10, verse 12. And the Lord said to Moses, stretch out thy hand over the land of Egypt for the locusts that they make. May come upon the land of Egypt and eat every herb of the land, even all that hell have left. See, and with those swarm of flies, man, it's no telling what damage they have done. And you look, look at the virus, man. Look at the coronavirus in China. What it, I think they say it originated from bats, okay? From, you know, some type of animal, okay? So the, the Lord is sending these serious plagues for a reason, man. These evil, evil times, man, okay? These things are not to be taken lightly. All right. None of these things to be to be taken like because this is prophecy. This is letting you know that he's coming back. This is to let you know. All right. And we, this is how we know he is coming back soon. This is how we know through prophecy, man. This is this is faith boosting to us. You know, you know, let me grab one. Let me grab the end of scripture because I was going to I was going to skim through that article a little bit more. But let me get this. Um, Yeah, here we go. So this is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 3. All right. It's, it reads, I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I have shown them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. These prophecies, these prophecies that we're speaking week in and week out on our lessons, on the, on the streets, okay, they're going to come to pass, man, because what his prophets, his men have declared it. He's not going to have us confounded. He's not going to have us looking foolish out here, you know. We in the if we're in the right spirit. He's going to he's going to show that we're in the right spirit. Simple as that to you people out there, especially you you rebellious ones, man. But you know, it's predestined. You know these these things that he, the, these plagues, these instructions that are being sent each and every day. Man, we ain't even got out of the month of January, man. And the prophecy of popping like popcorn, as the elders would say, man. The prophecies are popping like popcorn, man. It's something happening each and every day. Each and every day, man. But people want to bullshit. All right? Hey, man, we don't have much longer in this society, man. All right? We do not have, we do not have much longer in this society. All right? You can, you can lie to yourself. You can put yourself in that confusing state if you want to. You ain't fooling nobody but yourself, man. We know what's truly going on. Because what? The Lord's going to sit in suddenly, quickly, quickly. He's going to do these things quick, man. All right. You see what's taking place. We, we, I'll just refer to some of the plagues, the earthquakes. Come on, things, 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 things are wrapping up, man. All right. So, you know, with that, man, you know, Lord willing, you know, the, ed the lesson was edifying, exhorting, you know, for the sincere believers out there. Okay, of this of these earthquakes and, and locust plagues, you know, just to just to 
touch on a few, okay? So um, with that, you know, I want to end off by giving all the glory, if and praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who teach you when obviously it's Tabernacle David. With that, I would like to say Shalom, Shalom, Abad Babal, keep the faith.